So, this is the dazed enhanced English demo. And uh, we have here, we are, we are currently in Parsec. We are recording it through Alex's computer. Hello, Alex. You can say hi to the, to the YouTube at this point. Hello, YouTube. YouTube. I am Alex. He is, he is going to be playing this because this is, in fact, this enhanced demo is uh, actually my own project. I was enhanced. Well, I should explain more carefully. Days was created by Dragon Snow. It's a demo that uh, he put out before practically canceling it. Well, he did cancel it. Then somebody did a rough English translation. Rain. Rain the Vaporeon. Um, and then I worked with Rain to improve it. And then from there, I went further with it. And I did a bunch of additions and refinements and added some stuff. So this is my enhanced version of that. The only reason I did this is because Dragon Snow had canceled this project permanently. However, Dragon Snow has recently had a change of heart and will be coming back to it. So I'm done. I'm not going to do anything else with it. But I still wanted to show it off because I put a lot of work into it. And I thought it'd be kind of cool. So Alex is here playing it because I wanted somebody who play who doesn't know the game to, to play this and you know obviously if i was playing it i'd know all the, where all the secrets are so that wouldn't be any fun so yeah uh alex yes uh when you're i guess when you're ready z z key for a it, it yeah, z x well yeah z for a z for a z for yeah i guess that makes sense Please enjoy an enhanced edition of the day's demo. There are many additions and refinements. Perhaps even the new secrets to find. The new secrets. New secrets to find. New secrets. As opposed to old, yes. old secrets. Okay. Everything seems to be fine. Oh, it just occurred to me. I need to turn off my mic for the game sound to sound proper. That's right, I remember now. I do want to say you can you can generally inspect things for more information. Try not to accidentally press something that could accidentally shut the game off. Is this one of the things you added? It is. Oh, I didn't learn this yesterday. I knew he was a guy. I knew it for a long time thanks to the context clues while doing the translation work. Oh, hey, this kid has a phone that's doing the exact same thing my current phone's doing. Dying. Oh, I think that's just a charger, but... Yeah, my phone dies while it's plugged in. It's, it's that bad. <laughs> Do inspect practically everything if you want to find all the stuff I added. It's starting to get chilly. I should buy some warmer clothes. Despite wearing a hoodie. Pearl the pure hearted. I always feel a little bit better with him around. I will more or less keep my mic muted unless I need to say something. So oh, so you just don't push the talk? Well, for the for the game audio to come through better, it's better if I do that. So just keep that in mind. I do wonder if the game's too loud now, though. Uh, Stream growers, let me know if things sound too loud. Buildings seem to have been bombed by some. Those are large holes through them. What all just happened? Eh? Why is there no signal? What's going on here? I'll go outside and take a look around. This is the first garrison scout, Kiyoshi. Writing the first of the periodic paper logs is ordered by my direct chain of command. Blah blah blah, other official mumbo jumbo. What's it matter what I say? Nobody even reads paper logs anymore. My goggles are some of the most advanced tech out there. They're recording everything that I see. I don't need to write things down. 
but orders are orders. The higher-ups seem pretty paranoid about gathering data this time. I guess that's why. Last time, no one was prepared, and almost nothing was left behind, I heard. Can't really blame them. I can barely believe my debriefing about everything. To think there was there has been so much concealed could really be called be, really be true. New record added. Press A to read. Oh, the A key. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's the I added, too. Also, I will say this right off the bat. You might want to yep. lower the game volume a little bit. I do believe it might overpower your voice for my audio settings. I'm not noticing anything myself. Well, if the stream goers are okay of it, you can be the same volume as the game. It's, it's really up to... Oh, before I get, go out, maybe I should check the computer in my bedroom. Oh, that's not good. Hey, this kid has the computer that I have. Never able to connect to the internet. I think some news already saves online, though. Should check both the side screens. Yeah, it's just this is just actually secretly what you look like in real life. <laughs> no, I'm not a furry with pink hair. It was about the comet. According to professional predictions, Comet Zero will once again pass above us soon. The chances of fragments also, falling. I'm out. gonna pause you. Yeah. Do I will actually directly say, please lower your volume by it for the. Please lower Day's volume by twenty five, maybe. Twenty five. Yeah. It would, it would work How better. do I do that? Because I can't hear I'm you that well when I shut up, so... How do you do that? Uh, hit I'm hit alt, 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 alt enter real fast. And then uh, go to your volume control. You know your volume controls in the... Uh, I know uh, I know how to use the volume mixer. I've had to use this constantly. Okay, I, I don't know what I need to explain sometimes. <laughs> so just, uh, yeah, bring that down 25 or so. That should be fine, probably. Better? Yeah, probably. All right. We will continue to monitor and report on any new developments. Is this working? I think that's good. Okay, good. Comet Zero. Fragments falling off. Huh. What is all of this? Let's see what the left screen has up. Due to the emergence and booming popularity of fully autonomous AI, many traditional workers have been replaced by faster and cheaper robot labor. We've reached a new record for job loss rates. That could have been unemployment. With many people now relying on anything from financial aid to illegal trade in order to make a living. Are people struggling that much? My parents are doing okay. Can they even pay for this place? I guess I'm lucky. A super, a super atmospheric tractor was stolen in the middle of transit. It is speculated that insiders were involved. This tractor was used for space transportation and towing, guiding large and unwieldy spacecraft precisely onto docking platforms. Wow. I wonder how big something like, like that even is. It can't be easy to steal. New record added. Okay, now for the other... oh. Diet advertising. Are you feeling too ordered, ordinary with your featureless fur? Purchase our company's fur dye products. Pick from a variety of colors and patterns to display your own cool style and highlight your unique personality. We also do house calls. Oh, this is the company I ordered from. Cool. They did a good job. The house call service was way less sc scary than going to their salon. Mom and Dad weren't very happy I got the permanent die, though. I guess this is the equivalent of a furry getting a tattoo, alright. Yep. Care for your coat. Apply our product Treasured Fur to nourish the very roots of your fur. Your coat will stay silky and strong, freeing you from worries of fur loss. I don't know, knowing the way my dog is, the, the fur always keeps coming back. Our treasured fur line contains no harmful substances and are all natural. Treat your fur like a treasure. 
used this product before. It was okay, but I found a different brand that I like a whole lot more. It makes my fur feel even silkier and softer. New record added. Okay. Oh, by the way, uh, first off, I want to say thank you for doing, thanks for actually narrating the characters. I wasn't going to even ask that. But uh, it's it's appreciated. Oh, I just thought I had to do that. No, 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 no. It's it, it, it's. But I appreciate Knowing it. Knowing how cute. you play changed, I'm gonna just save four clones of the exact oh. same save file. Before you leave, uh, yeah, check everything. A large and detailed copy of a rental agreement. Two different signatures are at the bottom. I'm assuming it's the parents. The lease is in Dad's name, but it was still scary just co-signing it. A small reminder list. It includes brush your teeth three three times a day. Do laundry every few days. Don't let your trash pile up. Eh, we're doing decent. Do general cleaning at least once a week. Yeah, we're doing somewhat decent. There's even more on the back. Oh, mom. So, I want to say that those. This over? <laughs> There's probably more on the back, yeah. Uh, the two notes on the left I added myself, just flavor text. The stuff in the computer was actually there the whole time, and a lot of people didn't even know this. Uh, I didn't know this for the longest time, but then eventually I figured it out. You know that little part where you're coming out from the uh, kitchen and it said, oh, maybe I should check my computer before I go? Mm -hmm. That wasn't in the original game. I added that in to actually make it obvious you could do that, because I didn't even know it existed. There was no there's no real reason to go back to the bedroom, you know? So, uh, you're a completionist, so I feel like you would just run into that accidentally, or maybe on you purpose. think that, but I, I didn't know it even existed. But, um... <laughs> Voice cracks though. Sorry, I think it's cute. He's a kid anyway. Voice he's voice. Crack? He's voicing a kid, so it's fine. <laughs> well, I don't know how old. I don't really don't know how old the change predictor is. He's not a kid, kid, but he's not very old either. I mean, if he's seventeen like me, it works. I wouldn't be surprised if he was. Also, the painting can be examined since you missed it. Painting? There's also a few. There, you could all. There, yeah, you missed a few things in the, in this room. If you're curious. Oh, the painting on the wall. It's in the living room. Trying to collect all the secrets because I believe you hinted at something being having a secret ending if you get every last. This is bit. true. Uh, every secret. That's a really weird way to check the computer. <laughs> What's the right screen showing? Well, I don't know. I'm not really on the right side of it, but. Yeah, let me uh, just walk behind my computer right now and tell you what the screen's showing. I'm psychic. Um, but to answer your question, yes, there are secrets, but they're all visibly visible if you pay attention. There's always. Visibly if you pay attention for things to look out of place, you'll find all the secrets. To put it simple. Also, but in the in the yeah, you're done in the bedroom. You haven't you didn't miss anything. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that that was the painting. That said, this painting is very sophisticated, but it's just a bunch of squares to me. There's also a couple papers in the living room here you haven't checked. Which, if you want to find everything. I'm assuming it's the papers next to your fan art of Puro. A receipt of the game changed for the Potendo Swap. This is such a great game. I really like the human species the developer came up with. The main character, Colin, is so cute. Oh, this other slip. I forgot to redeem my pre-order bonus. I should do that later. Well your, well, your Potendo swap is right here, so let's do it now. That might be something you have to go take it to the store physically to get the pre-order bonus. How stuff. do I pick this thing up? <laughs> let's see, does that other paper have anything? I don't remember. I don't remember if I put anything on the other paper. I think it's just the receipt for... A pizza receipt. Mm -mm. Pulled pork pineapple. Who? He. Who in their right mind? <laughs> With pork. Look, pulled pork is nice, but the no, not the pineapple. No. I love part. I love. Uh, I love alliteration, though. Also, for anyone aware of what's going on here, part the way Parsec captures, I am basically forcibly muting myself when I don't need to talk. Because if I'm not, the game audio will stop. As you guys can see, the game audio isn't going. So I'm only going to turn my mic on when I want to say something. And yes, the music and such will cut out. That's just a consequence of Parsec. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. The book's title reads... Primed Games Official Change Study Guide. Strat study Guide. Strategy Guide. 
thought, thought I bought this. I'm trying to avoid using it. I just know I can find all the secret transfer scenes by myself. Even though you're probably going to have to go five minutes past the save point and then die. Well, I feel like I the, this, the perhaps the switch, the, perhaps the Potendo swap version is a little bit more refined. Can RPG makers even run on I did a switch? A, by the way, in this kitchen, I did something really basic. I did well. I did something subtle. Do you notice how the sound changes a little bit in this room? I don't notice anything. Open the fridge. Okay, I, I think I actually disabled that. Anyways, yeah, there's this, the sound of the fridge humming is is in this room. It's subtle. Wait. Nope, it's not there. That's me. Is this a guy or a girl? It's a guy. Oh. Yep. Calendar. The calendar has a mark on November 5th. It's starting to get chilly. I should buy some more clothes. Okay, I already checked that. Oh boy. Um... I don't actually think I added anything into this room because I wasn't really sure what to add. Slip. So what exists is just what Dragonstone had originally. You're gonna want to get in the washing machine. I really wonder why there's so many goddamn grates in there, though, <laughs> like, for drainage. I don't know. Water gets everywhere when with a shower. I assume I can go on from here, because it doesn't seem there's anything left. Yeah, you can move on. You've got it. You've noticed it. You've looked at everything. may be something here, though. Pay attention, you'll figure it out. You can also ask the string growers for help. Somebody else might notice. I don't know. There's not a way to pull it. But I feel like I have to cover up these two squares. Honestly, things are pretty boring so far. My garrison has only been ordered to stay put and set up barricades. We're supposed to provide the first line of defense, but not many of the soldiers were here have weapons. I guess it hasn't mattered so far, though. The only encounters we've had so far were some tired citizens who woke up from all the noise. I'm kind of surprised they don't care more about the damage. Then again, this is a real slummy area of the city. Pretty sure all of the buildings hit were abandoned anyways. The other soldiers explained it was only a crash drone plane. Unnamed, no casualties, nothing to worry about. We'll all clean things up by the morning. Calming down the civvies, sending them back to their homes, just like our protocol said so. Wonder if they'll be okay. So, uh, did you figure out what, why that, what the visual indicator was there? Well, I see three boxes that you can move, and then I see three holes on the floor. I feel like I have to move them onto the bot, onto the holes, but more specifically, do you know why that box had a note in it, and the other ones did it? No clue. Look at the boxes. Compare them. 
I left a visual hint. One is facing vertical, the others are horizontal. Nope, that's not the hint. Well, then I'm not... I don't speak charm, okay. so I have no clue. If you look at the box you opened with a note, it has a little mark on the side. The other ones don't have marks on the side. Oh. Yep. I point this out I mean, because I can... when I make... When I make... Uh, <laughs> When I make my own game, you you will you will need to be observant like that, probably. <laughs> so heads up for yeah, everyone I'm early. Spending, uh, I'm gonna be spending about uh, 20 minutes in each room, even though I should probably only be spending like 20 seconds. I like visual hints that aren't super obvious, but are definitely there. That aren't impossible to see. They're just something you might overlook. All right. Ah, uh, now here we go again. What, what is that? It makes visual. It makes a visual indicator basically a puzzle. So, it's some sort of big white mass. That is a very weird description. It looks similar to a lump of wax. There's strange puddles of goo around the area too. I've never seen anything like this. I should call someone to clean this up. The bridge out of here is not far ahead. Uh, well, here's the thing. A very important thing about my game development. I might make things hard to see, but I won't make them missable. You won't make them what? I won't make them missable. Also, good observation. Uh, I didn't even know that was there. If you look, you see it there because look look at the look oh, at the it's stacks. Red lines. Yeah, there's a page that's different from the others. Okay. Thank goodness. Now I have something interesting to do. The commander decided to actually use my abilities. Quite the weird guy. He's been really talons off with the unit. He's probably got some special orders to fulfill. I know when to keep my snout shut and not ask questions. So I'm glad he finally approached me and gave me a new mission. I am a scout, not a guard. Sitting around and monitoring an already blocked door wasn't what I signed up for. Besides, I'm not really a people person. I work better alone, alone doing things my own way. Less pressure. Now I can get moving and survey the surrounding area. I'm supposed to radio in the location of any hostiles, keep a low profile, not engage Unless required. Whew. All pretty standard scouting 101. Should be easy for me. Hopefully. But then again, these hostiles might act different from what I'm used to. I'd better be careful. Make it end. Oh, okay. you jerk. You may be on too. <laughs> Test. High school student. You, you should remember this. I'm Josh, yeah. Something? Something? <laughs> something. Oh. I heard a beeping noise. I didn't know what it was. Yeah, pushable can. Uh, I should pro I'm going to add little touches. I like that touch that... Uh, uh, Drake's did a cool touch with that. I'm gonna, probably going to add something like that myself. Uh, yeah, generally what I'll say is that you should be observant with almost every room in this game for to find all the secrets. Wait a minute. I, see I really don't like how quiet everything is. I've tracked a couple pieces of the meteor crash. It really splintered up before landing, though. Explains all the holes everywhere. I'm not dumb enough to approach any of these chunks, but they seem pretty... dormant? I mean, they're just rocks, right? Just rocks. Just gooey, weird rocks. From space. Yeah, I'm not gonna be padding up and poking it with my baton, that's for sure. But I guess I haven't seen anything really hostile yet. I'm staying up high and making good use of my thermal vision. Even if I miss something, my goggles are catching every little detail. Though, it kind of bothers me how so many mounds of goo glow with so much heat. I get that the bigger meteor chunks would still be hot, but wouldn't all the smaller drips have cooled by now? 
Or maybe I'm just spooking myself. Look at me. Being scared of puddles. It's not like they're alive. Now in the context of this game, they're probably alive and dun, dun, we're dun. all gonna die. <laughs> Bridge is broken. It was the only way to leave. Was this caused by the explosion earlier? Well, guess I have no choice but to go home and wait for rescue. What could have been what could have even done this? Um oh wait. Oh wow, um I didn't realize there was this many options. Small thing, I also edited the save screen, the text on it, incident, and the title, uh, the top text. That was all just originally default, if I recall. So. Yeah. Get out of the trash can. It's got him log number five. Well, that explains our error insertion. I heard the main bridge had been hit by one of the meteor chunks. Didn't take that to mean it was in two parts. Radioed the commander to double check my scouting parameters. Doesn't need me traveling out of the set. <gasps> Fine by me. I didn't really want to try vaulting this. Anyways, I was told that there's another unit posted on the far side of the bridge, in case anything gets out. The higher up seemed pretty confident that tonight's problem stay in the slums. I guess so. It's not like I've seen much of anything anyways. This bridge wasn't the only way in and out of the area, but it seems like it was the only public route on this side. The civilians would need special evacuation if things went south, and with how on edge everyone is, it's strange how nobody's talking about that. New record added. Alright. How am I doing with reading? Is my doing pretty good? Yeah, you're doing just fine. Admittedly, while you're reading that, your voice got slightly robot so I hope your internet's not doing anything stupid. Eh. Thank God, someone finally came! Wait. You are... that guy who never leaves apartment too? Where are the others? You heard that blast too, right? There must be something terrible happening outside. I jumped out of bed when I heard it. But there's also... A living milk pudding in my room. I'm serious. That's it. The weird pudding. It's all gooey. And it can even move. It keeps chasing me around. It wants to do something terrible. Well... Don't just stand there. Help me. Um, is there anything we can do to help this guy? I don't remember. No, he's fucked. What? D don't come any closer. <laughs> ah! It's, it's on me. Can't get it off. It's too sticky. <laughs> Time to run. A lot. Am I dreaming? I don't know. Are you dreaming? Try punching your hand through your other hand. Works for me. P punch your hand through that your... Thing is... Do you just disintegrate your hand on a daily basis, or...? No, it's just something people try to do to see if they're dreaming. <laughs> Did that thing just merge with him? It stuck to him so tightly. And then... Are... Are you okay? Hello? Um... Wait... Please, stay away! He's still a He can't seem to understand me anymore. What's that thing do to him? What can I do now? I might be in danger too if I don't run away. The bridge is broken, though. I need to get past him. This box might be able to block him. Should be strong enough to push him. 
Stay calm and escape of the hallway. Plan your movements carefully and watch your, the opponent's actions. Take things one second at a time. Should be able to do this. Wait. Did it just start moving? Yep. Okay, that doesn't work. <laughs>use it more effectively as an obstacle. If you want a hint, I can give you a hint. Or you could ask <laughs> the stream guards. Already in checkmate, so it doesn't matter. Have to pay respects, yeah. You, you, at this. you actually are receiving invaluable advice from the chat. What? Secret be in this room. Push the box from the bottom. Alright. That's, that's probably not what I was what they meant. You, you took too many steps, so he got too close before you did it. You could have pushed it faster. Yeah. Ah, I, I see what you mean. And the light bulb lights up. I made it. What even was that? Thankfully, he doesn't seem to be following me. If he caught me, would I become... I don't think this is a dream. I better go home quickly. <laughs> Here we go again. And this one... Is it trying to copy my face? Problems always come in pairs. But I'm one door away from my apartment. I won't die here. You dare approach me? I don't know the name of this character, but I'm assuming I'm gonna have to do this again. Oh wait. Never oh, mind, you that moved doesn't down. work. <laughs> you moved down I didn't into even it immediately. See that. You immediately uh, you could. It's not an instant death. It's just you moved down into it immediately. I just want to point that. Oh, out. Oh, so only the. Okay, so literally any white dot can kill me. No, no, just some. But also, you were doing that right. You were doing that right. Just to let you know. Though there is a possibility that I you don't need I the box. Also, the. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're no, a little screwed fine. now. I should just like deal walk all the way up to it and then just throw a thousand knives at it. That'll work. So this is one of them. Ah. Hey, they, they only move if you pay attention, they only move once every time every other time you move. Oh, okay, that's that's a good thing to know. So you could actually move past them. Okay. Wait, no. No, you still got this. You can actually still do this. Now 
There you go. You you figured out the process. Careful here, you might want to loop around. Well, yeah, I'm dead. Yay. So I'm just gonna advise you right now, just keep pushing that box straight down. Don't do anything fancy with it. As, oh, nope, well, okay. That's not what I meant to do. You can still hey, get, oh. You. Turn me into glue, okay. I guess that works, yeah. All right. Yeah, just kite them around and you can get past each one. Just take your time, planets out like chess. Yeah, that's good. Two left would work fine for this situation. Actually, I think I just screwed you. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> you? Why, do, why did I listen to you? I'm not exactly a chess master, though. I don't point this out. Ooh, voice crack. <laughs> it's actually a pretty reasonable strategy, pushing down from the middle like that. That's I, I never thought of doing that. Dare approach me? You dare approach me? I have my stand. The box! Oh, great. Now I have to avoid another. Nope! Ah! You cannot defeat me. Heart's beating out of my chest. But I made it! I made it. That explosion, those creatures. What's even going on anymore? Can I go back to my bed? I need to save! I'd like to find out, but it's too risky. I can't do this by myself. I'd better get home and lock the door. Have to survive the night. Someone will probably fix the bridge tomorrow. Then maybe I can get out of here. You get back to my room. I need to save! Hey boy. Is this gonna be like the pro of the game where it doesn't want to kill the main character, or is it gonna... Oh, it totally wants to transfer the main character, but uh, I think it... I think these creatures are misunderstood. Uh, in the sense that what they're doing, they're not doing out of hostility. I think this is just how they friend people. I don't know how these things work. I can't oh, say for sure no. I know everything. I, I, I think I can already tell where he might be headed to. Wait, do I control them? Oh, I do. Oh, what? What's this? Um. Wait. Why? Why can't I read this? That is a good question. You'll have to figure that out, huh? Before you break your brain over it, you can't you can't solve this puzzle right now. Don't worry, you can come back. Oh wait, I, I think I remember seeing this part. So, why do we have to come to such a miserable place in the middle of the night to do some unknown mission I would try giving these a unique voice but I keep using the same one over and over again don't I don't know me. but it probably has to do with the, cl the comet piece that reportedly fell earlier I heard about that happening an hour ago the piece fell again 
just like 10 years ago. In the comet, comet post before, a piece of it broke off and plummeted down, turning the place into a ruin. I also heard that it broke through several buildings. What devastating power. I can see more pages. But if that's true... Ugh. Woo! Aren't we in danger? That's Comet Zero. The Comet of Death. That killed nearly a thousand people. And we don't even have ma- and we, and we don't even have masks. We have no protection at all, and yet they still expect us to blockade this place until sunrise? I don't know. We're just the temporary front line. I saw the commander br brought some containment units. Maybe this isn't just a quarantine. He only told us to blockade the door, keep watch, and report anything out of the ordinary. It's strange. This is all so suspicious. I just hope that we can leave before the sun rises. Um, when I looked back just now, I noticed something. When did that milk pudding appear? I don't know, but it seems to be moving. None of us were issued weapons, right? <laughs> uh, I guess not. Stay away from that thing. I don't think this is supposed to happen, but okay, that made it a lot easier. They're not very They're not very smart, so they kinda get stuck a lot. <laughs> no wonder I can read. I can't read any of these. Yes, you're you're kind of unable to do that right now. I can't. I read. I just killed like three people. I should have three brains, right? Or is that not how this works? Wait. You took a shower. Huh. I guess I have to do this again, but they're gonna try and kill me. Yep. It exists! The substance from Comet Zero. How is this thing moving? Idiot. This is one of the aliens. That has a terrible accent. This thing is clearly not a native creature. This classified document stated that the alien can merge with any creature. Beware. You should retreat. The commander said to immediately report anything out of the Unord. Ordinary. You're just too stupid to know a promotion when you <clears throat> see one. Neutralize this threat, we'd be the heroes for sure. Right, right. But the commander also said that we shouldn't interact with it. If we get too close, it and it jumped us. By the time that you got that, you're definitely slow enough to get jumped. If you get infected, stay away from me. <laughs> The automated door is locked. This stupid thing can't escape now. <laughs> Pathetic little creature. You're dead! Engaging the enemy. Oh. And... Wait, what? Huh? Oh! Okay. Th that makes much more sense, okay. Yeah. Basically, it's a case of you need to move into them. If they move into you, you lose. Oh, you cornered yourself. Hey, look now. Ow. So you're gonna you're gonna want to take out the first two guards like you're doing, but then you're probably gonna want to go a different direction in the room to try to figure out what you so can I'm do with the third to guard. One of those. Explore the room.
me, sir. I'd really like to have some of your super grippy, um, shoes, you know? Okay. You were kind of figuring it out. The ice makes you slide. That's important. But you did it wrong. Clearly. Alright. You two are going to become glue boy. And wait. Oh. Well, never mind. Whoops. Those are some strong batons they got. They're electrified. Let's see. Yeah, sometimes. I moved in the wrong direction. Yeah, you you gotta you gotta definitely watch your. You gotta kind of make the enemy move the direction you want them to move by moving a certain direction yourself, basically. Why can't I just freeze time and then teleport behind them? That'd be so useful. What's funny is you are repeatedly solving the puzzle and then not realizing you solved the puzzle. Try sliding on the ice and then just waiting for him to get to you. Alright, let's go back and try. Yeah, this is definitely me being, doing a blind playthrough. I don't know what I'm doing. It's okay, man. It's definitely more fun blind. It's it's alright if you get a bit stuck. Pay attention to how many tiles you're sliding. One, two, three. Three! Yes. Now, wait. Yeah, and you went... <laughs> and you have once again unsolved the puzzle. Congratulations. What, uh, try this. Lead him around. Lead him around so you can get back to the ice. I'm just gonna solve it for you. Here, go back... Yeah, go back to the ice. Wait. I, now all you to... want to do, just move left. No, 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 no. Just go back. Go, uh, okay. Lead him around again. Lead him around again. I'll, I'll, I'll help you out here. Hold on. Now, as soon as you stop sliding, just listen to me. Walk right. Walk left. Walk right. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Which oh. right? Which right? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that quackity video. I, Which I, left? I, I, I... I, I think I got it. You think you got it now? I'll let you figure it out. I think. I don't know. Wait, that would not work. Oh, wait, it would. So every time you looped around, he got stuck trying to walk towards you, and he wasted a step, which got him unsynced again, and then you got... Basically, every time you slid on the ice, he was he was space in just the right way. But every time you looped around, you, you made him go back to the previous state. So basically, you kept solving and unsolving the puzzle again. <laughs> smash. Hulk furry smash. Also, I, I'm. Did you sma Did you see something that you smashed earlier? Yes, I know there was a page under it. Yes. Oh wait, I have six eyes. He has a lot of eyes. <gasps> um. This is not a good situation. <laughs> this 
this large creature. Man, emergency! The commander just went inside. He must. We must stop this monster here. Am I supposed to kill all these guys? Or yep. am I just supposed to? Oh, Lord. Take your time. It. So I'm just gonna get bigger and stronger, I assume. You don't have to be scared of guys staying daily from you. Remember that. No. Wait. No. He's gonna kill me. Okay. The the you hesitated there. You need to be a little more aggressive. Um okay. Don't let them dog you dare you. You dare approach me. Okay, you do dare approach me. So, if they're staying next to each other, you can't safely kill them. Okay, so I do have to get them separated. Try to get them separated, but also be aggressive. There you go. Good work. You get the good puzzle solving there. Now I'll get the line that are backed up in the corner. <laughs> this is a scary monster to be dealing with. Wow. Okay, now that I am made of like, I don't know, what, 15 military men at this point? I'm pretty sure I can knock over a lot of stuff. You're not so much knocking those over as you're just smashing them into a fucking compressed metal. I think they're metal, too, so you're quite, quite strong. Ugh. I'm mad, so I can just destroy everything I want. Wait. One of them had a triangle on it. Oh, you're getting observant. Good work. <laughs> that's a lot of- that's a lot of guys. Did you see the dumpster? You dumped one in the dumpster and it woke up, but then it got hit on the head and felt and got knocked unconscious. It has a triangle. I, knowing you, this, this this means something, but I can't do anything. Hmm. Bird boy. Um. <laughs> Bird man, not this one. I must find the correct one before sunrise. Or will it truly be intelligent? Why did they make such a strange request? I have to be quick. Oh, wait. So, absorb own kind become smarter you're able to yeah i'm gonna have to go back and get all those pages something's not right since nothing much has happened i've been looping between a number of vantage points mostly keeping eyes on the crash sites i've discovered the briefing told me what i'm looking for aliens they were called crawlers. I think they start out as just mounds of slime, but if they catch a living creature, oh, well, they can change how they look and work. So these hostiles 
They won't. They don't have just one form. I gotta watch out for anything gooey and whoa. That's what I thought, anyways. Just watch for anything slimy and movie. Easy, right? They're just made of white goo. Pretty visible, even without thermal vision. But with everything so quiet, I got lazy. The goo around the meteor trunks. Those simple puddles, I should have noticed it sooner. Each time I looped back to a meteor site, something felt different to me. I thought it wasn't just nerves, but then I checked back my recorded footage. Each visit, the puzzle to have the puddles have moved to different parts of the ground. And some have just disappeared. I'm sticking to crash site Delta for a while. I need to pay more attention. How many of these scouting logs were there again? Um, you'll find them all, I see. I sure, I'm sure. You're missing stuff. Remember, you can understand things now. Don't don't run by things that you could. There you go. Fish, six boxes. Meat, eight boxes. Vegetables, twelve boxes. Expired, twenty-six boxes. This freezer is kind of shit, yo. <laughs> it is it some sort of map? Okay, that's all it says. Scouting log seven. Damn it, I was right. Every one of those puddles must be a crawler. Watching Crash Site Delta wasn't that fruitful at first, but then I had the idea of reducing my visibility. I was already monitoring from a pretty distant outlook, but when I went the extra mile, dimming my suit and goggles, tucking my tail over myself, it's a good thing being a black wolf. I probably only got this position thanks to my low profile color. I can find a dark corner and just watch, unseen from the shadows. And wouldn't you know it, it finally got me some results. After a few more minutes, some puddles started bubbling and springing up. Previously flat goo be filling out into a bouncy, wobbling shape. Then they oozed off here and there to who knows where. I guess they're kind of shy, likely not wanting people to see them moving around. I'm gonna guess there's something like ambush predators. They seem to have good sense to notice me, but considering my ghost act tricked them, they can't be too smart either. But with their numbers, they might not need much intelligence to be a problem. New record added. Okay. You missed something. Bear. Oh wait, the briefcase. Creature report crawler. I named the species as such because they don't have a consistent form. Lacking efficient movement, they can only crawl on the ground. The crawler's official name is... Goo. As indicated by its name, it is a viscous creature that is wobbly and bouncy. Lacking any specific form. Comet Zero introduced the crawling, the crawlers during its first pass over our planet. They are an alien species that supersedes all of our terrestrial knowledge. Last year, when Comet Zero passed over our planet, a small fragment broke off and descended through the atmosphere. This was the species' introduction to our planet. It was also our first encounter with living organisms from a celestial body, something previously thought unbelievable. Anatomically, the crawler has no skin, no bones, and no visible organs. This sticky creature resembles a lump of chewed gum. Almost everything about the crawler remains a mystery, but what we can be sure of is that they have an extraordinary skill. Devour. Crawlers can steal a victim's abilities and form, including their traits and genetics, by devouring them. This is a strange alien, I must say. Normally it will bind to its victim with its soft body and completely engulf them. The crawler will then rapidly digest them, removing inorganic substances in the process. That's brutal. After digestion concludes, the crawler will alter its appearance. Oftentimes, they will resemble the creatures they digested, though they will still remain distinguishable as a crawler. The process, they will also inherit the victim's abilities, knowledge, and even memories. We have evidence that the more creatures they devour, the smarter they will become. In essence, if they devour birds, they can fly, if they devour fish, they can swim. A crawler can even devour their own species, regardless of state, to strengthen themselves. 
The attributes inherited can also be stacked. It is currently no known, not known if this trait has an upwards limit. In theory, if left unchecked, the crawler can become. Oh wait, I didn't finish reading that. In addition, the crawler can even imitate objects and creatures they have simply seen. What's more, the crawler has no gender and can only breed by a process akin to cellular division. No matter how many creatures are swallowed by the crawler, there seems to be a limit to its size and mass. We don't possess any reports of abnormality, large abnormally large creatures. Surprisingly, a crawler's devoured victims do not actually die, despite their digestion. The crawler can restore any digested digested creatures then spit them back out, as we saw with the 15 army men in the recycling bin. All of my observations are gleaned from materials left over from the incident, but without rigorous scientific experiments, there are only theories. If the crawlers didn't possess that critical weakness, it's likely that our planet would be quickly covered by the <sighs> evening is tired. That weakness caused the crawlers to become extinct the day following the incident. Sadly, this left nothing behind and led to that terrible disaster. Publicly, the higher authorities claim that substances from Comet Zero caused a large number of deaths, deaths, but the existence of alien life remains confidential. Due to the dispersal of its weight, the trajectory of Comet Zero has been, was slightly altered. Thus, it may pass over our planet again in a few years. There are still far too many mysteries. Why do the crawlers have these traits? Where do they ultimately originate from? How did they evolve into what we know? We cannot know anything for certain at this time. However, despite my desire to learn more, I would hope the crawlers never return. The tragedy we witnessed should not be encouraged to happen again. I'm gonna pat you on the back. That is a fucking long log. Like that was that's in the original game. It was untranslated for the longest time though, because it was nobody actually noticed it. No well it was it was hard to notice that you could read notes after you ate the slime. I actually made it more obvious by adding that little mu musical jingle. Scouting log number nine. Oh, wait, I don't know if I have number three. It's not hard to watch <laughs> the crawlers now. They're being way more active. It's like they were all sleepy before, but now have woken all the way up. They're oozing around everywhere now. I'm trying to track ones here and there, listening to see if they form any speech. So far, it's just burbles and squishes. I don't like how active I have to be. I'm still able to keep some distance, but not as much as before. My goggles have great visual recording, but only average audio recording. I'm pretty sure they know I'm around at this point. They're definitely not as shy as when they were sleepy, though, as they don't seem to care too much about me now. I bet they'd care a lot more about me if I got too close, though. It's getting hard to find safe moments to write. This paper log thing is a horrible idea. I'm just penning a few words in between crash sites now, in the abandoned buildings I'm using to travel. I think the crawlers are not as likely to ooze into empty buildings. If they're hunting, they'll probably stick to more popular. The writing stops suddenly on this page with the last letter stroke. Oh no! I. Huh. Damn it, damn it, damn it. They do ambush. Too close, way too close. Need to lay low. Did I have number eight? No, oh, I don't. You did indeed miss something. Did I... There. How in the fuck? Did you solve that legitimately or were you just pressing buttons? Pressing buttons. <laughs> right, I'm gonna have you go back a couple rooms to the right after this. To the right? Scouting log number eight. I radioed in the, to the commander again for the crawlers. They're moving in numbers. I don't get why he responded like he did. He seemed almost happy to hear the aliens were getting so active, like some big opportunity had happened. I decided to remind him about the problem bridge being broken and how the civilians here would likely need an assisted evacuation to get out of danger. He was quick to tell me that civilian safety was not my concern, and that I should concern myself with a new task. Um, that's a bad idea. Now I'm supposed to monitor as many crawlers as I can without engaging them, and to report to them him immediately if I hear any of them talk. <clears throat> Look, these aliens are weird, so I don't think it's, it's weird to learn that they can apparently talk. I just don't understand why it matters in this situation. I've also been commanded to neutralize any civilians that might happen to find me. 
Due to the sensitivity of my mission, the commander seemed to be busy too. He told me to keep the channel dead unless I found a speaking alien, then broke contact immediately. I'm kinda glad he did. I didn't know how to, re how to really respond after that. I feel totally unsettled. This isn't what I signed up for, but orders are orders. New record added. Okay, I found that out of random yeah, luck. You, you, I guess it's, I guess it's possible to find it through random luck, so that's good. Uh, go two rooms to well, the I right. Started... Go two rooms to the right for me, if you don't mind. One, two. So. Okay. Well, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna save. Try to solve the puzzle, even though you don't need to now. What, what puzzle? There's a. There's a puzzle that you were supposed to solve to figure out where that page was. What's in this room? A control panel. What else is in this room? A bunch of junk. Oh. I, I can see, is that the hint? It's a very, very tiny mini version of that room as a map. Except for the, in the black space, there's a randomly, a random conspicuous yellow, uh, red, white dot. You see that? Right on, well, that's the page. It is. It, it, you're, you got the page in that exact spot where that dot is on that map. So that was the puzzle you, you didn't even care about. It <laughs> just solved anyways. <laughs> Though I noticed you did solve Magic it through watch. another means. You realized that you missed a page and you checked the rooms in between the last two pages you found. Which is also pretty clever, I have to say. Yes, I'm smarter than you think. Alright, so do I just go back to that... I guess I just go through here. But did you find everything to the left? <sighs> I don't know, did I? Hmm, maybe you didn't, hmm. You actually know of something that you just forgot about it. Go further left. <laughs> I won't waste too much of your time. Further left. Just gotta keep going back. Or you can play on the ice, that works too. Can I read this? Wait, did I read this though? No. Right. Scouting log number 10. Damn it. These creatures are way too sneaky. They don't move super fast. But they can stick to it nearly anything. What one surprised me from the ceiling while I was riding. I mostly dodged it, but it still caught my foot. It oozed across my leg so quickly after that. It stuck against my fur and bubbled through my skin. That sounds painful. And the tingling at that point? I was almost paralyzed by it. But I had my baton out by then. Thank goodness these are stun batons. I was too weak to swing with any force. But the alien got zapped pretty good. They seem really weak to electricity. It shuddered and flopped off me. Pretty sure it was dead, but I didn't stick around to find out. As soon as I recovered from the tingling and the shock I'd given myself to, I bolted. I'm continuing my mission, but I'm staying the heck out of harm's way now. Found a pretty secure maintenance addict. Has a low ceiling, thin corridors, corridors single window I can watch out from. It's dark, too. But of course, that's one thing that doesn't bother me. This is a secure location for now. I'll stay here until my leg is better, at least. I have patches of fur missing, and it still feels numb. But at least it doesn't hurt. That alien was absolutely trying to devour me. That was the word in the reports, I think. I'm supposed to be a cool, tough soldier, but the whole situation has me shaking. Yeah, okay. Nicely done. So I, I think that's all of them. Let's see, do you have them all? Missing something? One, two, three, four, five, six, ten. seven, eight, nine, and ten. It looks like you have everything so far. How many were there? I don't remember. You, you do have them all. 
So am I near the end of the game, I take it? Or the end of the demo? Ah, uh, no, not quite. Did one of those offices just have a key? No, 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 no. Remember how you entered the basement? Yeah, vents are usable. Wait. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, a little bit yikes. And now you're all over the vent. <laughs> yeah, there's multiples of me. Now I'm Doctor Strange, I can clone myself. Whoa, I'm getting blown around. Uh. Uh. Um. Uh. No. There's um, a little. Just to make you aware, again, uh, there's a little bit of weird lag with Parsec, but I think it's all good now. Make sure to yell at anybody if they decide to do a, like a 5 gigabyte download while you're trying to do this. Nicely done, by the way. You solved it. I was putting my finger up to the screen. <laughs> oh, boy. And it's not over. Um, wait, where am I even supposed to get to? Yeah, well, you're supposed to be... Supposed to be moving left. Just look at the air currents and make sure that the air current you're about to go on doesn't lead you into a trap or into a fan. Just take your time and look at what you look at them and just pay. Just yeah, take your time. Wait. But... And that was a trap. <laughs> Seriously? Yep. So <laughs> I have to get chopped up now. You do. Or you can just hit F12 to reset. Nah, that's my F12. Here we go. Again. Great, now I have to remember where I need to go. Just take your time. So. If it isn't obvious, yeah, there you go. You figured it out. Nicely done. Oh boy. <laughs> How can I even sleep right now? It's still about five hours until morning. Maybe I should play some games to pass the time. You wanna play games with your pet latex? Well guess what? We got you a free pet latex. Pet you're gonna latex. love it. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Oh no. Here we go. It's you. It looks just like me. Found you. N now. Wait. Oh, was he with the guards? Eh? Huh? Wait, uh, do you mean Pink Boy? Yes. Pink Boy is not part of the guards, no. He's a civilian. Well, why? Don't hunt me? And now you Wait. can feel bad for the slime, even though he wants to assimilate the main character. It invaded my home and changed to look just like me. I have no idea what's going on. With no signal and the bridge broken, there's no way to contact anyone. Thanks to that thing... 
I'm not even safe in my own home. But it's not safe to stay in the hallway either. I need to find another place to stay. At least until morning. So do I just go up the ladder? These barricades have been here since I left earlier. I can't get around them. I'm going outside. No. Those things are still lurking out there. By the way, about that ladder. Did you notice that ladder existed originally when you were in this room? Uh, at the start I of the game? I don't think so. It was uh it was actually up there in the in the rafters a little bit poking out, but it wasn't down before. Can't take that risk again. I have no choice but to ask my neighbor if I can I thought the neighbor was killed. That was the neighbor across the uh, balcony way. It was the, another section of the apartment. Guess it can't be helped. Okay, enough stalling. I can do this. But how do I even explain this to him? Is the neighbor... Go oh, never mind. Who is it? If you don't have anything important to say, then please don't disturb me. Oh, well, <laughs> no, 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 there is something. There's something very important. You, you might not believe me, but my home was in invaded by a strange creature. It's all white and gooey. There's many more of them outside as well since the explosion. And the bridge to the, to the northeast is not broken, too. I have nowhere else to go. Can I stay at your place for a while? Whoa. It's due to Comet Zero. Eh. Don't you watch the news? Comet Zero has returned to our planet. What? Hmm. You're even more of a recluse than I thought. Trying to become a hermit? Ten years ago, we were visited by Comet Zero. Apparently, it returned today. That sound you heard was not an explosion. It was the impact of a meteorite that splintered off from the comet. What? I don't understand. And that's just like ten years ago. It leaves us another gift. What a coincidence, hmm? Quite unfortunate that the meteor hit our location this time. So those strange creatures are aliens? They are indeed aliens. Though not the kind with the little laser guns. In short, they came to our planet ten years ago attached to the common piece. But they all died without leaving a trace behind. I saw one of them grab someone earlier. What? What did it do to him? Did you? Hmm. This is what makes them so unique. They will copy other creatures to adapt to our environment. This is what you witnessed earlier. They copy by assimilating their victim. After engulfing their target, the two will combine and become one. They will then gain the abilities of their victim. As for the victim, they'll no longer be themselves after the event. It's all so hard to understand. To make it blaringly simple, don't touch them, even a little bit. And to answer your earlier question, you'd best not stay here or anywhere near here. But shouldn't we hide for now and wait for someone to rescue us? Armed escorts would already be here if they actually wanted to help us. Are you not aware? Ten years ago, every soul in the impact zone died. Not a single clue of what's going on in the world. They have a weakness. Sunlight. But then we should wait until sunrise, right? Quite the opposite. If exposed to direct sunlight, the creatures will vaporize and dissipate into a poisonous gas. Again, a fragment fell from the comet ten years ago. The aliens came to our world with it. The government quickly blockaded the area where the meteorite landed. But the real tragedy happened when the sun rose. The, the resulting gas spread out, killing everyone in the area. This was the infamous Comet Zero incident. Now that you're informed, and seeing as there's five hours left before the sun rises, you'd best leave the area immediately if you do not want to die. Alright, history lesson's over. I've said enough. There isn't time for chatter. I've educated you out of kindness. Whether or not you manage to act and escape depends entirely on you. See you on the other side. 
comets, talking aliens, poison, gas. What's wrong with this world? It's like the plot of a video game. Huh, if only I could... If only I could tell you, Mr. Pink Hair. <laughs> Did you mention talking? Um, yes. The alien that entered my apartment. He could talk and even change to look like me. Um... There was residue left behind, but that's it. It seems to have escaped. Answer carefully. You're certain it spoke. Yes, it said, found you. Hey, you want to stay alive, right? Of course. I was an officer once. Following me would be beneficial to you. Do you want to escape with me? Yes, definitely. Thank you. Then let's go before the sun rises. Okay. Though, why is he treating me differently now? This is the end of the demo. Thank you for playing. Congratulations, you have found all of the scouting logs. With what you have learned, you likely have gotten curious, haven't you? Your experience is not yet over. Now have a new task to accomplish. Good luck. So that's what the ladder is for? Mm-hmm. Now from this point on, you're seeing new content I added. Um, this ladder? Hmm? What's the matter? This simply leads to our building's maintenance area, where technicians could check our, pow our power and water lines. I doubt there's anything of use to us up there. Oh, well, maybe, but... This wasn't pulled down earlier, was it? Was it? I wouldn't know. We shouldn't dawdle. But we could ta take a quick look if you're so curious. Alien could hardly need a ladder to climb up there. So whatever's up there might not even be dangerous. Am I gonna run into you or something? That would be very egotistical of me. Oh, wait. Is that a... Excuse me, what are you doing up here? Is this the... Oh, wait. It's Kyoshi? Kid, get back. A weapon? Just as I thought, an advanced military scout. Military? But that means... Please, you have to help us. Stop your begging. Being here of all places, they're almost certainly on a confidential mission. With orders to eliminate anyone who threatens that confidentiality, no point in running. Get ready to fight. So I have to kill Kiyoshi? Somehow... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Hi. Well... This is awkward. Uh, sorry for scaring you. My baton just slipped out and turned on. Sorry about that. Sure. You expect us to believe that? You had plenty of time to consider us before you acted, soldier. You knew exactly what you were doing. Uh, well... Like you said, I had orders. Given the circumstances, I'll, I, I think I'll take independent actions. Um, is that so? Man, Scout is in a position due to get... Uh, and two civilians would hardly intimidate a property armed officer such as yourself. So why the change of heart, soldier? This gaze is piercing right into me. Uh, I don't agree with harming civilians, really. Also, I'm... I was hiding up here until I recovered. Wait, injured? Are you okay? Oh, it's my leg. I had to shock myself to get one of those monsters off my... Uh, wait. It's confidential. And...
again. There's no such thing as monsters. <laughs> yes, we both are fully aware of the alien outbreak, so there's no need to waste time with obvious lies. Right. How do you know so much anyways? Were you military? Ex-cop, actually. I simply worked closely with the military on a couple of incidents. Oh. He seems way too knowledgeable for a cop, but... Um... Once you feel better, could you help us escape? Hey, hey. You can't. I can't. Uh, yeah. Just, just saying. Your internet's being just a I little read, bit, just a little bit stupid. So don't rush through the dialogue because sometimes frames are skipping. Just saying. Frames are skipping. Okay. Uh, what he said. He's breaking orders, just speaking to us. If his supervisors were to learn of this, he'd be in hot water. Let alone if he tried to help us. He lacks the resources to do that anyways. But... He couldn't... convince them? As I told you before, kid. Soldier, what's your name? Um, Kiyoshi, sir. Kiyoshi. What is the military's goal here tonight? Well, that's really confidential. Right. Quarantine the crowd zone until further notice. Monitor alien movements. That's about all I know. And civilian priorities? Well, they're part of the quarantine. There's no there's not a lot of concern for civilians right now, even though they're in danger. As I said before, kid, if the military wanted to help us, they would have done so by now. But why wouldn't they? I kind of feel bad now. Feel free to stay up here, if you want. It's been pretty safe so far. I can at least help with information? I'm a scout, after all. If you have any questions, just ask. Though, these guys already seem to know so much. Oh. Well, we shouldn't stay too long, but thank you. Some extra information could be helpful before we leave. Now that we're done with the confidentiality act, anyways, glad to be useful then. Hi again. Okay. I feel like I'm supposed to talk with. Should I just do all of um, the dialogues he has? You could also check the pages. And the can. Ugh, my heart didn't need that. I definitely made sure that maintenance ladder was pulled up and latched tight. I nearly jumped a minute ago when I heard it clatter and clang back down to the ground. I think it just fell on its own. This old building is falling apart. Wait a minute, I hear something down below now. Somebody's starting to climb up the ladder or something. Okay, so this was literally wit written like 10, 10 seconds ago. <laughs> yeah. Okay, keep your cool, Kiyoshi. Stand up, get ready, look tough. Be tough. I am tough, right? I hope this goes okay. <laughs> Scouting log 11. Okay, now, because I can't do these in chronological order anymore. Oops, I didn't realize the wind was picking up outside. I guess I shouldn't have set down all the logs right next to this broken window. So that's how they got out. Kept saying that paper logs were just a bad idea. They didn't even give me some folder to put them into. That would have prevented this. Dang. Those could have gone anywhere, and they're confidential. Well, I still have audio and video recordings of everything, and who's going to read those papers anyways? The aliens? Yeah, the aliens. Maybe I should just report all of the paper logs as destroyed while under attack. I mean, I did get attacked. Yeah, that might be the smartest. <laughs> also, I want to point out that the inventory system is something that I will be using uh, with my game. So is this literally the only extra part? This is, yeah, literally the only extra part, I suppose you could say. But I so mean, this there's more. Basically... You're, you're not done, though. I mean, you talk to him. Hey, Kiyoshi, get, tell me a story. Oh, boy. Well... The nearest bridge out of this area is totally broken. My unit had to get in by air. I don't know the area too well, but there's a bridge on the other side of the slums, right? 
Who knows what's outside at this point, though? And the comets caused a lot of damage out there. I think there's some private access roads that could easily get you there safer. Kind of like this maintenance tunnel, but longer. I'd technically be trespassing for civilians, but I don't think stuff like that matters much right now. Hi again. Well, I don't know too much, but I did have a close encounter, so they're called crawlers from what I know. They start out as pudding-like things, and they seek hosts, I guess. Don't let your guard down. They're pretty slow, but they can stick to anything, including ceilings. They can take other forms, too, when they grab a host. That's what I heard. Can you imagine if one got a bird? It could just fly right at you from anywhere. Oh, sorry. I don't mean to make you panic. Hi again. What about you? me? I'll be fine. So long as nothing comes up here for any a bit anyways. My leg still feels a little weird from... Alexa, stop! Stop! I somehow turned it on while reading this. <laughs> My leg still, Alexis, maybe that triggered it, I don't know. My leg still feels a little weird where the alien stuck to it. And it removed a lot of fl my fluffy fur. But my pride was hurt more than anything else. Once I'm back in good shape, I'll continue pursuing my last orders. Oh, don't worry. I won't mention you guys. Hi again. What are those goggles? Oh, yeah. You like them? These goggles are what separate a scout from an advanced scout like me. Hey... They let me in, they let me see in the dark, give me thermal imaging, and even record audio and video. Best of all, they make me look really cool. So it's basically every high schooler how they feel when they get AirPods. <laughs> Though, looking cool is kind of an accidental feature. Okay, but AirPods don't make you look accidentally cool. We scouts aren't really meant for direct combat. As t tough as we look with the goggles turned on. Hi again. So what would you like to know? Scouting logs? So, you know about that. Yeah, I, I might have lost some logs, they were confidential. This is what is this why you guys know so much? Since you did find some of them, just destroy those later, okay? I didn't like writing those things anyways. Too distracting. They almost got me. Devoured. So good riddance. Wait. Okay. Sorry. I hope that wasn't too surprising. You're probably wondering what's up. Well, this is the end of the demo, and there's something to explain, so I'm doing it. Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's start from the beginning. For those who didn't know, this game, Days, is made by Dragonsnow. He is really cool. Except, it's just a demo, of course. Then a guy named Rain came along and translated the demo to English. After that, Dragon Snow decided to cancel Days, since he wanted to work on other neat things. That's got another guy's attention. Charm. Wonder who Charm is? I wonder. Charm worked further on the demo. It's what you played, or watched, just now. We worked with Rain to improve the English translation more, po more. polished number of events, scripting, added music he composed himself, added secrets and new events, and this is a whole outro, and... Well, it was an awful lot of things. He added me too. So why Charm do all this work? Well, he wanted to show this remastered demo to Dragon Snow, and asked for his blessing to continue Dazed. After all, when he heard Dazed was cancelled, he figured why not try to continue it. Charm wanted to have something to show like, like this to demonstrate his abilities. However, there's good news and there's bad news. The good news? Dragonstone will likely pick Days back up at a later date if all goes well for him. He's uncancelled it, basically. The bad news? Charm won't be continuing Days as such. Dragonstone still has a story to tell, and Charm respects that. In fact, Charm is really happy about this. Dragonstone will always be the best one to tell this story. 
So you might be wondering, why Charon put this remastered demo out? Um, well, hey, hold on. He wait, was wait, stop, 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 stop. You're in a, you're in a glitching tech. Piece of shit. <laughs> you're Glit in a, internet. Your internet again. A little poor again. So just, just don't go super fast. That's all I'm asking. Well, he was practically done when he learned he had to stop. So he figured it would still be fun to show off. Consider all the new content here as a sort of what if scenario. Also, it was an awful lot of work just to throw away. But out of respect to Dragon Snow, that's why you're watching this video and not playing this yourself. This demo will not be shared around to avoid stepping on Dragon Snow's toes. But hey, you got to see all the work anyways. On that note, Cherim really hopes you enjoyed all his additions. Also, I lied. There's actually two different good news. Good newses? If you enjoyed Cherim's work and want to see more, then there's some great news for you. Working on this demo wasn't a waste of his time. He learned a lot doing this. Learned a lot about RPG Maker VX Ace. That is a mouthful. He used to make RPG Makers on much older versions many years ago. He's really enjoyed getting back into it. He's also absolutely loved Changed in Days, so feeling quite inspired. He started to work on his own transfer game, Shifted. It's inspired by Changed, but will be wholly original. 100% original assets, a unique story, setting, and gameplay. Oh, and original music. Like what's playing right now. Made in Famitracker for a similar changed vibe. It won't be linear, mostly. Instead, it'll be about exploring, collecting, and opening new areas. And searching in trash cans for hidden stuff, probably. Maybe some. It'll be a big cans. project, but Charm is assembling a small team to help him. It should be pretty neat. Maybe I'll show up in it too in some original form. I'm tired of talking now. Thanks again for checking out this remaster demo. Make sure to keep an eye on Dragon Snow. He should be releasing his new game, Silenced, at some point. It looks neat. And, ju and just hang around Charm if you want to see more about Shift in the, hopefully, near future. It's a pretty exciting time for transfer games, huh? Well, see you around. So that was it. That was it. <laughs> I should go look for I should go look for Charm and get some news on that shifted game he mentioned. You should do that. That might be useful. Who knows? <laughs> and my phone has finally died. It went from a hundred percent to zero percent. In that much time? Oh my goodness. It's a four year old phone. It's it the batteries just burn out. But <laughs> it at least let me view most of the chat through the entire stream. And your internet held up well enough, so that's great. Um Yes. So, also, thank you for doing all the reading that you did. I actually was not going to ask that at all, but you just went ahead and just read pretty much everything anyways, which I appreciate. And uh, it was fun having somebody play it blind, the whole thing, so. <laughs> yeah, having to solve puzzles, that made me look stupid. That's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna have, I, I kind of enjoy watching people get stumped by puzzles I create, so it'll be a lot of fun working on Shifted and uh, seeing how people react to it. I mean, it's it's gonna be an open exploration game. Actually, this is a good time. I'm just gonna uh, just leave the tile screen up and we'll have this little talk here. Uh, if anybody does have questions about Shifted, I can probably answer them, or at least answer that I can't answer them right now. I should totally request a game that'll stump you just so I can get revenge. I mean, you could do that if you want, or your Kimball Crest. But, uh, yeah, uh, Shifter will be open. Shifter will basically be kind of playing like changed, except for if the environment was open, you had a map, multiple areas to go to, your main goal being to unlock new areas for different Pearl's reasons. an armadillo. Pearl is an armadillo. Not named Pearl. He's also not anything like Pearl, but he is, a, nonetheless, the, the kind of companion character. But he's actually quite different from Pearl. He'll be quite fun. Roto is his name. I had to doodle him while I was on vacation. Yes, you do. By the way, your doodle is going to be more official than my doodle. 
Seriously, like, it, your 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 uh your build of him, just how you structured him, is better. It's just a bunch of circles and pen ink on a little paper. You still drew it's him cuter. It's not digital. You still drew him cuter, honestly. Should we get? Well, a, should we pull that? Should we pull that up? Hold on a sec. Let me hold on a sec. I'm gonna pull it up for people. I'm not gonna be able to see anything because I still have the game on full screen. Well, you know, you know your own picture. It's it's all good. Actually, screw it. I have the picture in real life. I have the best version of it because I have the original. Here's Roto. Yeah, you do. He's basically a reptilo, reptile armadillo thing. <laughs> He's also going to be kind of a jerk, but the sort of jerk you can befriend if you're careful. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's see here. Any questions? The can kind we have Hiroshi's theme? Um, all the music I've composed for days here, because I was thought I was going to actually continue the project until I learned I wasn't. I'm going to take all that music. I'm going to use it in my new game. Because <laughs> I can find new purposes for it all. It's all good. Uh, this demo is now a collector's item? Okay, then. Dark, sell it on the dark web? What? Uh, but yeah, also, um, will shift to be as hard as danged, uh, changed? Danged. Danged. Um, will shift to be as hard as changed, aka pretty much RNG. No, uh, <clears throat> while I do love changed, I will still attest that it's kind of poorly designed mechanically. It's got a great story. I like the general flow of the story and the visuals Wasn't and the events. Wasn't changed the first game DS yes. yes, ever made, Yes, though. it was his first game, so I got, I'll kind of slack on that. Slack on that. But mechanically, it had a lot of problems, and I will avoid those problems. Uh, one thing I could tell you, uh, Changed had it set up so that with the relationship values of Pearl, you could very much save and then learn, oh, I'm stuck in a bad ending. I do not like game design where you can cross a point of no return and be stuck or, like, miss something. I don't, I'm not big on that. So I'm going to try to design best I can to make it so that, that it's generally unmissable, or at the very least, when it comes to relationship values of Roto, that it's, you have to be trying to mess up, essentially. Like, you have ample warning, you have ample saves, essentially. Um, I'm gonna try my best with that. I haven't quite figured out how I'm gonna structure that. In addition, it is open world. There's gonna be kind of open world. It, it's gonna have linear chapters, and then, like, chapters where it's more open, and then more linear chapters at the end. Uh, but I will not make everything, anything like, oh, you passed this up, so you can't get it now. Uh, which change... What about side quests? So, oh, there will be side quests. Um, one of the major side quests will be... The reason. The main reason for the uh, open world aspect is... Uh, a basic game mechanic is you're going to be... Essentially need to find scrap to basically build things that you need to get around to new areas and such. So um, it's now changed craft. Changed, changed craft, sure. We'll go with that. Mine changed... Uh, I am so stuff. Tired. Nothing will. <laughs> I, I don't think anything will really regenerate. But yeah, I, I didn't like the mechanical designs. I do think I do like difficulty. Now keep in mind, I do like difficulty. I do like if I give you a save point and then I give you a hard room uh, right after the save point. I think that's fair. You can easily re redo the room. You can try the puzzle again or try whatever this difficult. Like where I had to destroy fifteen military guys. Yeah. Well, that wasn't really that hard. Change was Change's uh, dark latex uh, room where it was also turn based. That was kind of the worst part of Change in my book because it's so RNG based. You could just you could try to be doing everything right and still lose. Um, is it going to be made on RPG Maker VX Ace? It is because I'm now familiar with the engine after working with Dazed, so it should be fun to use that. Also, the visual style will be like Changed. Uh, we are. Uh, I have an artist that I'm working with. Actually, a couple artists, uh, such as as you saw probably saw from that uh, title screen teaser. Wish I could pull that up again if anybody wants another look at it. Hold on. Uh, I got this saved here. There it is. Just uh, pull that up. Also, there we are. Give me a sec. There we go. But uh, here it is again. And. Uh, yeah, uh, as you can probably tell from this uh, title screen, which is more or less this is a title screen, uh, it's going to have a similar style to change in the whole pixel art style. I, I really like the uh, thick pixel lines of change, so I think that's a style that can be used further. Especially since I have learned how to do large, larger than normal uh, character sprites in RPG Maker, much like change dad. Um, 
Actually, six Day, pixels. Day's dead too. With a, when you get the larger latex monster, he technically super. He technically uh, goes past the limits, the standard limits. But it's very simple how to fix that limit. You just size things up in a proportional way for the character sheets. Uh, but yeah, um, should be fun. Uh, should be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm gonna try to tell a good story. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's there's a few beats that are gonna be very much inspired by change, but trust me when I say that I'm not going to just tread the same ground. Definitely not. I mean, uh, for one, you may notice the space theme to that title screen. Uh, the game is gonna take place on a, a, a basically a, a abandoned moon base. Well, not really abandoned per se, but overrun moon base, I suppose. Uh, and it will not necessary. It will not involve latex creatures, but in fact, will involve nitrile creatures. Uh, nitrile is similar to latex, except for it, it's a real thing. It's, it's, uh, it's much more heat and cold resistant and can resist chemicals. It's exceptionally really, really, like, durable, uh, form of, uh, rubber. And, uh, it's, it's often used in aeronautics, you know, planes and stuff, and also spacecraft. So, uh, there's, there's a reason for that. It will Science. involve humans. It, it will be, it will be humans creating bad things, much like changed. But uh, for a completely different reason in, di in a different setting, so. <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, kind of a good summary of things. Any other questions? Over on Moonbase, reminds me of the Ur Urchius mission in Starbound. I haven't played a lot of Starbound, so any, any similar is is purely coincidental. <laughs> uh, real thing. Oh, yeah, is going to make it happen in real life? That's part of the promotion for the game? No. <laughs> Make it an ARG event. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's a pretty good summary, Breezingwolf. Open world, overrun moon base. There will be times where it's more linear for the sake of the story, but uh, like I said, you'll never get locked out of content. There is going to be, well, the end of the game is going to be super linear, but you're, it's going to be one of those things where it's like, here's the point of no return. Do you want to cross the point of no return? You know, one of those things, which is, you know, fair. Will there be weapons, guns? Um, you will not be using weapons and guns. You might use item. Uh, you might use things in the environment to solve puzzles or to deal with certain latex. I mean, there's going to be boss fights, much like Changed had. So keep that in mind. For instance, I have uh, Jordan. Feel free to again just throw your questions at me, and any any way to help slash speed up the whole progress of you making it. Uh, any way to help? Well, here's the thing. For those unaware, I'm actually moving to Canada. Uh, next month, uh, June fourth and fifth, are my move dates. Uh, I, I live in the U.S. I'm doing my doing this big international move, so I'm gonna be basically completely gone for about two weeks doing this. Uh, once I get back, I can start folk, and once I get settled in uh, to my new place, I can start focusing on working on shifted. So I'm I'm not really messing with that just yet because of the big move, but after I get back, uh, ways to speed up help the whole progress of you making it. Um. Well, spreading the word is very useful. Like, if people get hyped up and are, you know, interested in this and such, then that definitely is very encouraging. Uh, also, I would I would just say, like, uh, I might need to, I might need to pay some people for their services. It all depends on what people want, because I got a really good friend who just kind of wants to help me with the game, and he's a good artist. Uh, and I got another friend who probably wants to pay me if I ask for more of his help. And that's fine. You know, that's completely reasonable. Uh, I'm making all the music myself. I'm doing all the programming myself. I'd like it if... I, I, it's definitely good if I can get art help from other people. Because uh, just doing the music and, and the programming and, and, you know, the story and everything, that's quite a bit of work by itself, let alone the doing all the art. So uh, <laughs> I might also seek uh, other Famitracker artists uh, for other music because... Uh, Making music is kind of a slow process, to be honest. They make good music, anyways. All the songs that you heard in this day's demo took quite a while. Quite a while. Um, um Charm. Mm hmm I might be having to leave soon. Am I needed for anything else? Uh, no, it's fine. Do you mind just idling your computer with the screen up for right now? Is that is that a problem, or do you need to leave? Leave. Well, like leave my house leave oh so you can't just leave your computer on gotcha okay uh yeah that's fine just uh we can we can just switch to talking without the tile screen up or i can just pull it up on my end 
in a, in a clever segue, so that's fine. Here, I'll just do that. Yeah, you go ahead and go. You go ahead and go, Alex. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep talking to the chat a little bit. And thank you All very right. much for your help today. You're welcome. <laughs> you uh, you go. I hope you can get some rest after you get back from whatever you're doing, because it sounds like you're tired. So you what? I hope you can get some rest after whatever you're having to leave the house for, because it sounds like you were tired. Oh, believe me, I woke up at like 5.30, and I and I went to bed at like 12 a.m. Like, yes, I'm not doing three hours of sleep that you can somehow magically pull off. <laughs> well, you go get some rest when you can, dude. Mm. I will. Okay. I'll see you later. See you. All right, guys. Yeah, for the sake of just some ambience here, let me... uh. Let me just pull this up, because I'd like to talk about this a bit more. It seems like you guys have other good questions. I'm going to answer those in a second. Uh, just let me... I don't really have a... <laughs> I never compiled it for myself. Whoops. That would be kind of helpful if I did, I guess. All right, there we go. Just a moment. There we go. Let's put that up for now. While we continue to talk and yammer on. So, uh... This is probably a good time for me to turn that back down. Alright, there we are. So, uh... Yeah. Let's see what else you guys asked. Um, I remember you had some long thoughts about the TFs giving you a game over. Are you going to do the same, or is it too much of a spoiler? That is, I'm absolutely going to have TFs be game overs, but I'm going to be more fair about it. Changed had a lot of situations where it's like, well, if you want to see all the game overs, all, all the all the transformations, well, you know, it's, it's like, well, I haven't had a save point in 10 minutes. I guess I could do this, but then I have to do 10 more t 10 minutes of gameplay again. I won't be so annoying about it. Basically, what I was planning on doing is if a new enemy is being introduced, there's a save point next to it. So you can very easily and safely go and... Uh, Get yourself transferred and lose no progress. That enemy may show up later in situations where there's more time between save points, but you've already had your chance to transfer from it, so you don't have to worry. Now it's an official obstacle and not something you want to lose to because at, at the later points, you know, it's just an obstacle, so you can treat it as a fair challenge and not just automatic decide you need to lose to it to see the change. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no problem, Char. You're very welcome. Thank you so much for your help, and you did a great job. You really did. Uh, let's see, how much will the game cost? Right now, I just kind of wanted to release it for free, but considering I am actually, uh, Shifted will have 100% original assets, so that means music, uh, art, visuals, everything, 100% original, so I theoretically could sell it. It's not like, it's not really a fan game. It's more of a game inspired by, uh, Changed. But it's not really a fan game because I'm not using any old resources. Um... <laughs> That's my definition of fan game, anyways. I don't know. Um, let's see what else we got here. But yeah, as far as weapons go, so there's going to be an inventory system for uh, Shifted. It'll be very similar to what we saw here in, in this day's demo. Uh, instead of being a huge RPG menu of a bunch of options, it's just an extra key you can press to open up a menu of items, and then you can interact with those items or just you see what you have and such. I intend to have grabbable logs, because I do like grabbing logs. I think that's fun in a game like this. Like, imagine, like, imagine it in Changed, if you could have actually collected the photographs as you found them. Like, that would be more interesting. And also, I'm going to have transformation photograph sets. Probably not quite in the same style to be more original about it, but I'm definitely going to have something like that. Um, let's see what else we got. Um, I'm just scrolling down through the chat at this point. And Crazy said, if, if the game's going to be good and you need artists to do... I will be there doing donations. I want to see this game one day. Oh, thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate all the good feedback and interest you guys are providing me. Uh, I I am a little hesitant to accept money for the project right now, but if there is enough interest, I could set up a Patreon for for uh, Shifted. I maybe I'd like to get some feedback on that. That's something I'll I'll consider after I finish my international move. Um, if there is enough interest, I could set up a Patreon. 
Uh, let's see what else. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to get through everything. Uh, let's, there's a lot of comments. It's good. I like this. Uh, gallery thing could be nice too, like Dragonstone at the end of change. See, that's the thing. I wanted to do more logs, but I could also kind of have... If I could figure out how to... Uh, actually, I could have... Oh, I didn't even think of that. So that inventory thing I have going, it's bound to a key and it's a sp special script. I think I could literally duplicate that script and bind to different keys to have different inventories. So you could have like a log inventory and then a photo inventory. You could just easily access them with different keys. That would actually be a pretty good idea. Um, so basically, Shift is like adapted, inspired to change, but original. Yes, that's, that's accurate. Um... What else we got here? Perhaps deep in down science spin jack. We're all human. Mom knows music. Um, in change, collecting the photo sets would be helpful to the player, but wouldn't make too much sense for the character. Yeah, I, I don't mind a little. I don't mind a little game. I don't mind a little plot and gameplay separation um, here and there. I mean, if you notice with days here, it wasn't super obvious, but. The logs collected got saved to the inventory, regardless of whether it was Pink Boy that collected or the slime. That's see, I don't mind a little little bit of gameplay and, and plot separation like that, as long as it doesn't get in the way. Um, but yeah, Patreon, just link me once you've set up. I'll definitely uh, I'll announce it on YouTube. I'll announce it on my uh, Discord channel. I'll announce it here on Twitch when I do have a uh, Patreon set up for that. If I do decide to go that route, multiple endings. Yes, yes, I do have that planned. I can read off a few things actually. Uh, hold on. Let me slide that window over here. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Right. I could read off a few little things I have here. Um, let me just go to my docs. And here we go. Okay, so a few more things I can read off. Um... You can maybe have the transfers trigger on some inventory items. That is possible. I can have interactions like that. It's very simple to have, like, if you have this item that triggers this uh, script, th that triggers this variable to occur if you're in this situation. That's very simple. Have item does this thing, does this thing if you have it passively on you. If you don't, it doesn't do it. Yeah. Um, I don't know what RPG Maker to know what's possible, so I'm just suggesting neat sounding things. This later versions of RPG Maker, I'm used to the older versions, but the newer ones have scripting, and I've been learning that a little bit, and that seems to offer a lot more possibilities. Um, except for Adapted has no game. That's not true, dude. Merc, you have, I mean, you have the Minecraft. But, um, what was I going to say? I had something I was going to share with you guys. What was it here? I have a document pulled up on the side. Oh, yeah, endings. Right. Let me go ahead and explain a little something about uh, multiple endings. A secret endings? Yeah, probably. Probably. Um, so, uh, endings tied to Roto. Uh, he'll basically be essentially the pearl of the game, but he's entirely different in personality. Uh, I'll just read off what I have here. He'll repeatedly try to get the human caught in situations where something wants to shift him. By the way, shift will be the transfer statement. That's the, uh, that's the big, that's the word used, that's the buzzword, shift. He also taunt the fleshy while doing so and make it clear he doesn't trust humans one bit, though as to why he's up in the air. He clearly wants to see the human shift, but notably never gets involved directly in doing so. He's snarky, bad-tempered, easily flustered, probably kind of cute when angry, and he stomps his feet and st such. And he's indeed a creature you have to build a relationship values with by choosing the calmer, more disarming options whenever possible. Basically, you have to be patient with him. He's not strictly evil, and it'll become obvious later on why he seems so high-strung. Uh... There's a few things that I would consider, like, spoilers, but I did write them in a public document, so... Um, so, I'll just put it real simple. If you guys search the word Roto in Spanish, you will learn that actually means broken. There is a reason for that. He, uh, he's actually defective. He actually cannot shift things, and he's unable to adapt as well as other nitrile creatures. Uh, he basically puts on a big show because that's all he has. Basically, a bravado is all he can really rely on. Um, his ability to use English is due to him effectively being forced to learn about human things to survive. The game will be sort of safe for work. There will probably be vor, a little bit more vor than changed. Uh, I don't think it will be disruptive for anything. Um, it kind of fits in well with the whole covering theme of these games anyways. Um, but yeah... Uh, 
There is a document you can read for every little detail that I've written down so far, aside from a few that I'm keeping super secret. I've spoiled a few things. I guess you could say I've spoiled a few things, but the main things I want to... The main... Uh, the main things about the story I have not put in this document, uh, because I do not want those spoils yet, but eventually, like, Rhoda's gonna be in a situation where he threatens you directly, and if you have basically, if you've basically been patient with him enough through the game, choosing the right options, and by the way, I'll make it a lot more obvious than when it, when it, when it was with Pearl, um, probably actually have the options literally different color, like, here's the green option, here's the red option, maybe that's too obvious, nah, that's probably fine. Uh, but eventually, he'll, eventually, Roto's gonna have you against the wall, where he's trying to be intimidating and physical for once. And he's like, he's just like saying, like, I'm sip of, sick of you traipsing around everywhere, fleshy. I'm gonna shift you myself now. I bet you're scared. And basically, if you've been patient with him at that point, uh, from that point, uh, up to that point in the game, you'll actually get dialogue choices, such as, uh, I, I am, please don't, or I, th I don't think you're scary, no. And if you haven't been doing things right, you'll only have the top option where you're actually, actually you're scared of them. But if you've been doing things and been patient with them, you'll have the calm option, essentially. And uh, essentially, by choosing the calm option, this, this is where the event, this event would basically determine your bad ending one, number one. Or not, much like with Roto's bad ending number one. Essentially, the way you act, uh, act with him then will also determine what happens in the future, in the near future after that event. Um... You basically get caught in a situation where uh, Roto springs a trap on you, you get caught with a latex beast, and you can't escape it. And that's going to be a, a, an actual game, like a bad ending. But if you appeal to Roto's uh, emotions, he'll save you from that situation after trapping you, because he'll have a he'll have a mixed opinion. He'll have a he'll have a kind of he'll kind of battle himself on it, like trap you and then let you back out. Like God damn it! Like why do I care? Okay, fine, I'll let you out. <laughs> But, uh, Roto has a reason to hate humans. And there will actually be another human you interact with, and, uh, there's some things about him that aren't too great. That, uh, he seems really helpful at first, but he won't stay that way. Roto. Roto is how you say his name. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think that's about all I'll reveal out of the document for right now. You guys can look at it, look for it if you look really hard. But, oh yeah, there's another, uh, another character is Brass the Tinkerer. He's, uh, I'll just show you what he looks like, actually. Here's him. Boop. Bet, bet you guys can see him if I do that. There. It's just the basic sketch we have right now. Um, he will essentially be a, um, holy fuck. <laughs> he's a cat. He's a, he's another one of the nitrile beasts. By the way, we actually do have a term for them, poly knights. If you want a e nice, easy word for what these creatures are, poly knight. That is, uh, that is a combination of polymer and nitrite. Nitrile. Because nitrile is a polymer. Polymers are generally rubber, etc., etc. Um, so, um, this guy is going to be really important for the idea of the open world structure. Um, essentially, once, uh, the start of the game will play out much like change, where you're just kind of alone. Second part of the game, you'll actually have Roto recruited if you've, if you've managed to escape the bad ending number one. You will be, you'll have Roto at your side, and he'll, he'll be teaming up with you. He'll open up some new possibilities, actually, like some stuff you can check and such. But he also introduced you to this guy, Brass. And Brass, uh, he just, he likes to fiddle with things. He's like, uh, he's like... He's kind of like a like a goblin. He's in the sense that he likes to like build things and stuff, and they might be kind of haphazard and might fall apart or might blow up. Who knows? But essentially, uh, he's somebody that Roto has actually started to barter with over some time, and he knows Roto, and uh, he'll he'll go ahead and get along with the human and not try to ch shift the human since Roto knows him. And Ro plus, he's more excited than ever when he learns that uh, the human might uh, trade with him. Because, uh, Brass basically likes to have just sort of, uh, what, what was it? Just kind of just, like, scrap parts. Things he can work with, build. So, you give him those things, he'll give you things back. And that's gonna be the main, main, uh, core of the gameplay. Is kind of collecting scrap of sorts. There's probably gonna be two kinds. Basically, uh, one kind that you don't really need to find. 
and it just lets you get certain items, like maybe some logs you can read and stuff. You can purchase, basically, as a currency. And then there's going to be a more special type of sort of part or something that he needs that you need to get him so he can open an area for you, essentially. So that's basically, there's going to be, like, uh, optional scrap to get items and lore and such. And then there's going to be the quest scrap, the required scrap to keep moving forward in the game. And, uh, yeah. Can I have a copy of the doc? I mean, I can share it with you guys, sure. It does have a few spoilers, but it doesn't have... Uh, trust me when I say that there's still going to be surprises that are not in this document. Uh, wait. This is this is actually only scratching the surface on some things. So, um... But Brass doesn't know English as well as Roto, so he's going to talk... He's going to talk in a very uh, rudimentary way. He speaks like uh, object or life form with an expression or emotion afterwards, like... Uh, the introduction is probably going to go something like this, like, Brass sees the human and is like, HUMAN! SHIFT! And then the main character is like, uh... And Roto's like, NO! This fleshy is okay! And Brass is just like, huh? And Roto's like, fleshy can trade! We need some things! And Tr Brass is like, ah! Trade! Human! Trade! Excited! Name! Brass! I! Tinker! Give! Trade! Take! Trade! Take! Good! Basically, <laughs> give, take, trade, good. <laughs> That's how he'll talk. So it'll be pretty interesting. I sound like resin. Oh, I do, really. <laughs> so he'll be a very energetic barter shop system, essentially. Um, should be a lot of fun, though. I think that's about all I want to share right now. Uh, I'm also putting creatures into that document. As I come up with uh, a few creatures here and there. Haven't put too much there yet. I was just kind of doing a real casual chill writing down of ideas. I was going to focus more on it after my move, of course. I'm not really trying to get too invested before that because there's a lot to do with this move. But, uh, yeah. So how much of Resin helped with these? He didn't... Well, I mean... Certainly having him around made him more inspiring, but... Uh, not a whole lot, honestly. He didn't directly, he didn't directly involve himself. If that is what you were asking. Um, but yeah, I've, uh, I've got a bunch of random songs I've composed. You've heard a lot of them here in Days and uh, the that last little uh, song that played during the teaser image of the uh, title screen. But uh, there's also other music I've made. Uh, some of you guys may be aware of it. Some of you guys may not be. So, for instance, there's this song. It was. I'm going to repurpose everything. And of course, compose more. Way more music. It's okay that you saved it. That's fine. Thank you. And uh, here's a song that played during the uh, teaser during change uh, during days that gameplay we saw. I don't think Alex let the whole song play, so I'll play it here. I'm very proud of this one. This one was directly inspired by Changed, uh, a particular song from Changed, but it's fully original too. I I'm really happy how I nailed this one. Yes, chemical storage. There will be a chemical storage area where I will use this. Two words, radioactive nitrile. Or not radioactive, but they're going to be glowing with chemicals. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if it's a dark section. And you have to use them for light, but you also have to not get too close to them. 
That would be pretty cool. So basically, to see your way through, you have to follow them, but not too close. I have a lot of good puzzle ideas. So I think that would be kind of interesting, where you have to follow something you don't want to notice you, but you need to follow it to actually see. For instance, um, what I'm thinking is they could simply walk through an area with pitfalls. It's too dark. You would fall into the pitfalls. So you have to follow them and keep in mind their movements, or just keep in mind what you see as they move. So you can get through an area without getting a pitfall, or possibly, yeah, something like that. Oh, you like Roof Pop? That's great. If you ever leak art information about Shifter, where can I find it? That document I linked is pretty much where I linked, would leak anything in particular. Um, <laughs> I'll try not to reveal everything, but I, uh, I guess the Patreon would be a place I put stuff up to, if I do make that. Which it sounds like I might want to make that. Yeah, I'm really happy with this song. coming up with melodies, I think, when I actually put my mind to it. I'm not really, like, musically trained. I just like good music, so I make good music because I like good music. There's also this song. And, uh, yeah, Merc, I mean, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play your thing next, but there's also this song. I'll just share this, too. I think I know how I'm gonna use this. I, I was thinking about... I was thinking about, uh, due to the setting and due to what I know I'm going to be doing... I was thinking about having a dog pack, actually, for Shifted. Like, three of them. Three different breeds, like a German Shepherd, uh, and two other breeds I like, probably. All different looking. All, all of course, Nitro Beasts. All Polynites. Polynite, Polynite dogs. They could be, uh, antagonists of sorts. Probably boss fights. Like, semi-antagonists, like, not the main threat. The main threat will be interesting. <laughs> it is indeed Resin's theme, but it'll, for, for Shifted, it'll be something else. Resin will not be in Shifted, for those wondering. He doesn't fit in that universe. It sounds PMDS? That's kind of nice. I love PMD, so that's not... I may have picked up... I may have accidentally done that. A little inspiration. Alright, well, I get... Guys... If you want to support the project, the first thing you can do, uh, below the video, if you aren't part of my Discord, below the video there's a Discord link, join it. Because that's where the first updates will always come for anything. Anything I do stream related, anything I do game related. Discord would be the place to look for that. Um, so... Will it be your partner's team? Honestly, this almost does kind of fit Roto, if that's what you mean. Kind of does, actually. This song would fit Roto pretty well. That might actually be a consideration. I need to think about that. The only problem is the song has barking. He's an armadillo lizard. He wouldn't bark. Well, I don't know. Do armadillos bark? I don't know about armadillos very much. <laughs> Now, I'll probably write another theme for Roto, though. It would be kind of like this, though, with bravado to it. It has to have 
some bombasticness to it. Oh, there's gonna be some real big, interesting things. Like, the, the human that helps you is gonna turn out to be kind of like, like, enjoying killing Paul and Ice just for the fun of it. He's gonna be turning out to be kind of psychotic. That itself is not a huge spoiler. What happens after that is gonna be a spoiler. Also, you're gonna wake up in a chiral chamber. And you're gonna think you're probably a, a test subject. Much like Change, how Colin was a test subject. You're probably a test subject too, is what you probably think. That's what everybody thinks. Uh, there might be more to that, though. Uh, that I'm not going to say. I plan on some big reveals and such. It, it should be fun. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a gripping story if I if I can do this right. Change I could just change the bar because this is true, but Oh no 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 not not that one crazy. That's that's for the uh that's for the change tabletop simulator game being made by Essler, which I'm supervising. That's a different server, though. The server you're looking for... How did you find that server? No, no, no. You need to join the, uh... You need to join the... Well, Charm Plays Date Games Discord channel. It's, uh... Here. Hold on. It's literally below the video you're watching. If you scroll down the page, uh, you'll see a Discord channel button. Yeah. More specifically, it's this. There you go. Um, but yeah, so that's a pretty good summary of things. Um, and obviously you guys heard all the music from Change that I have, uh, put together, but I had fun putting it together. I actually got a little, um, where is it? Hold on. I think I put that in here, didn't I? Oh, maybe I didn't. Oh, here it is. Right. So a friend of mine was actually suggesting I go back and mess with the battle theme. I might do this because this battle theme is probably going to be used for a boss fight. They did a little edit for me and suggested some things, so I might take that to heart for later songs. Here's the edit they did. Yeah, that's a little edit he did, just to demonstrate some ideas, which I will keep in mind. Uh, it's actually quite nice. Uh, but yeah, so uh, we got some fun. I'm probably going to make use of that for one of the boss fights, that battle theme. Probably not all. I want each one to be different, much like how Changed had each boss fight have a different song. Boss fight is kind of a, uh, kind of a quotation term, because it's not exactly traditional fights. Though I might have a little bit more of a fight in uh, Shifted with some of them. But... Um, I just interrupted the theme, sorry. You wanna hear you wanna hear it again? Here. <laughs> uh but yeah. Will it have ties to change your days? I mean spiritually. But not literally. Nah, it's gonna be its own universe. <laughs> Oh, feel free. All questions are certainly acceptable. Go ahead and ask anything. Will Shifted be strictly single player only? Yeah, for now, yeah. Uh, RPG Maker doesn't do multiplayer as far as I'm aware. So we'll have to stay that way for now. I only intended it to be a single player game. I don't want to be too ambitious anyways, even if I had the option. But, I don't know, maybe if it goes really well and I want to make another game afterwards, who knows. <laughs> Colin? Colin, you're, you're green now? You are indeed, you are green for me. Everybody's a different color than they see themselves, usually. 
Let's not get ahead of ourselves, though. I still have one game to make before I think about another one. Gosh, and there's... I even have another game project that I'm going to be putting on the back burner for now, because I'm more interested in Shifted, but... I actually had another game project I was going to do. Um... Which has nothing to do with Changed. The sound effect. You had... you did... Yep, the sound effect, indeed. I can show that off. Here is it? Uh... It's in here, isn't it? Yeah, here it is. Just to demonstrate that I had something else in mind. There we go. Oops. Just to show this boil off. Simma! This is for another game project. It has nothing to do with Shifted, but I may as well bring it up. Um, he's a mummy dog. He'll be in a more traditional RPG. Basically a normal, uh, with a normal RPG combat system. Because I also do those. I also like doing those. It'll be good. There's nothing to do with, nothing to do with this other topic, but I figured I may as well bring it Why up. Why did I buy bits? Why did I buy bits? To give them to me, I suppose. <laughs> but yeah. Shift the franchise confirmed. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, guys, if you want to support just in general, if you just want to generally support me, like I can have a, I will think about a Patreon later for focused, like money to be directed towards shifted. If indeed that is something that people want to do. But for the time being, if you just want to donate in general, I have uh, a donate button below the video. Uh, it's a streamless donation thing. It just gives it to my PayPal account and uh, just, or just bit donations or just, you know, viewer support. Uh, all of this is helpful. All of it is I don't need this very doll. handy. Uh, I'm not exact. I'm streaming is my revenue, so uh, I don't have a second. I don't have a, like another job or anything where I make money. This is this is my way of making money. Um, so any support is very pre much appreciated. And given that I am doing an international move, money is kind of useful. Money is kind of useful. I need to furnish a new place and everything. So yeah. Uh, I've got a bit of a stock here right now, but it's not a ton of money. I don't have like, I think it's like 600 bucks right now, which seems pretty good, but it's, it's going to go fast. I bet, but that's all right. I think I should be getting another, uh, Twitch, uh, payment this month soon, hopefully in a few days, but we'll see. But yeah, just, uh, just support however you want. Um, really. And I'm always open for any sort of donations and just, uh, yeah. Uh, what was I going to, I was going to say something else. Oh yeah, and another thing is we're trying to hit 100. Was it 100? I'm trying to hit partner. That's also going to be really useful if I hit partner. Um, what was that? What was the what was the requirement for partner? I'm an affiliate, so I get money. You know, I get uh, I get some benefits, but getting partner is a lot harder. You need to get 75 average viewers for a month. So basically, the biggest benefit that people can do without spending money is just helping me get that goal. 75 concurrent viewers on average for a month. That's hard. I usually get around 20 at most. 20 probably is my average. I think my best average has been 20. So spread the word. Get people's attention. If people want to watch and support just my general streaming, that will that will help. We hit partner. Uh, it not only does it unlock a lot of benefits for those watching my stream, but it also means I get, uh, I think I get faster payments. I also get more benefits. It's just good. It's just very handy. handy. So, 32 right now. Yeah, today's been really good. Today's been real. I'm so glad there's so many people watching. Anyways, we are done with days for now. Uh, like I said, that's done. That's all I'm doing for that. Dragon Soul is going to pick it up back up, hopefully, at some point when they're finished with silence and have some time. Uh, don't rush them. Don't push them. Please don't badger them about it. But they will, for the sound of it, continue it at some point. So, going to leave that to him. I'm going to go work on Shifted <laughs> instead of Days. So, that's 
That's all good. Now, we're not done with uh, change content, though, so stick around here just a second. I need to do one thing. 